things can instantly turn, you know. So every step you're taking, you have to you have to think that every time you make a step is where I'm gonna be now. What what could the situation be, you know? Located a nice mill this morning, um, about 200 yards out. We're gonna have a nice, slow stalk in, take a closer look and see if he's, if he's the one. start since we've been seeing them, that smaller mind male has given me body language of being aggressive. more aggressive, you know, just his body language and what he was, and Randy was also making a comment saying, we gotta watch that other one, you know. Good shooting, eh? Yeah. Breaking his rifle and breaking your shooting attack while for trying to pull the trigger with the safety off. <laughs> <laughs> Good want to get that goal because that's what makes them beautiful you know we're in the free state first afternoon in South Africa Landed in Johannesburg and on the road, and here we are. First sight check in. We'll see if this gun's still on. piece of property you know you see the game everywhere and um, just a just a nice way to start a good hunt This is for my first safari, and I 
This will be number eight. Uh, red Letchway is one of those species that I've seen a lot of, but never a mature you know, one that was nice to take, you know, yeah. right, the right one. I didn't even see the second. Yeah, I had you got focused on him. Yeah, the whole you are better down the second one. I mean, through the pump, Mr. Rocco. Because you, you want to get that go, because that's what makes them beautiful, you know? Because yeah. you'll find a lot of them go wide. But they're just straight. Their own doesn't make a call. This is what, what makes a good a good trophy on them. No, oh, he's nice now. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good shooting. Nice to get off the plane. Yeah. And then come out and but this is nice. Yeah, this is beautiful. They're fickle animals. First day on safari after a long flight. Get out and kind of power through the day. Uh, Red Letchway is one of those things I've been after for a while. Um, this is my eighth safari, and uh, Hannes and I were speaking last year about uh, this year coming over and finding a special area for, for a nice big Red Letchway. Uh, this area is just absolutely beautiful. And you can tell by the backdrop, it's kind of the beginning of the, the Kalahari region. And uh, it's just beautiful here. We had the opportunity on this very nice red ledgeway, um, about 150 yards out. Nice shot, one shot, clean kill. I want to thank you, Hannes, for putting this together and, and this, this special area, this concession, you know, at the beginning of the Kalahari. It was a nice hunt this morning. Yes, Jeff, you're very welcome. Uh, you know, when you're looking for a for a special ledgeway, you're looking for a, you know for a mature male with a good call, yeah. like I told you, and. Um, this is what we have right here, a beautiful animal. You made a great shot and congratulations, my friend. A oh, great start for a, for a great hunt. We're looking yeah. forward to, uh, to the days to come. Sure. We arrived at the edge of the Kalahari uh, last evening looking for lion tracks and we actually had dust spotted a nice lion. We decided to hold off till today. We started early this morning in the Kalahari area on lion tracks. Uh, we, we spotted a nice male this morning, uh, driving around rolling tires. We spotted one nice male, took a close look. But uh, as we saw him, we saw two other tracks of two males together. And one looks promising. We're going to go in and take a closer look. So here we go. And right now, the wind condition is just right. I think we can go in and put a nice stalk on him and uh, see if the opportunity presents itself. You can see this area, uh, it's nice for lion hunting. There's wood trees but some nice openings um, but we have to be a little calculated on the stalk.
to him, he knows if he picks up his head. When he comes at us, we will be shooting when he comes around that bush at five yards. Let's take a look if, if you can kind of see where the main stops. I just want to touch the main. You know? I'm probably going to shoot the roll of the main. You're going to shoot the roll of the main. Don't shoot yet. Okay, Jeff, if you're ready. Behind the shoulder, right where the mine stops. Can you hit him again if you Just watch this other guy, yeah? Yes, it did. It got the end it. I definitely got back one of the lungs. It was a good behind the shoulder lung shot. He spun like he should. Yeah. And I was very confident and I wanted you to. I didn't pull I, all the way back on the ball. Did you go? Did you just go third, three quarters back? Three quarters, back? and yeah. then and then he jammed. Yeah. Wanting to reload too fast. Too fast. That was in my head. I'm thinking second shot yeah. because this is yeah. you know yeah. quickly as soon as he's up. Yeah. Yeah. I was my my mind was thinking second shot. Second shot. shot. As Should've quickly been. as possible. Yeah. yeah. No, it was a nice hunt though. Nice. You know. Very nice. And nice cat and everything. You know. So. A little, a little tricky with, with two mills. Yeah, even though it's it's very different because you're not only thinking of the reaction of, of one cat. You know, you got to think. And from the start, since we've been seeing them, that smaller mind male has given me body language of being aggressive, more aggressive. You know, just his body language and what he was. And Randy was also making a comment saying, "We got to watch that other one." You know, so you never know when that shot goes off. What is he gonna do? You know. Let's uh, let's let's get him out of here. Honest, uh, we spoke several times about hunting a proper line, a nice mill, and traditional spot and stock and tracking. Um, we're at the edge of the Kalahari, and uh, last night was our arrival in camp, and we took a drive and. and spotted this nice male but it was a little dark and dusk so we thought we, we would leave him and, and try to pick up the track uh, early this morning uh, it was a nice morning we, we saw several lions and uh, got on a track of a nice male and um, actually passed on him hoping to to get on this track and um, he he paired up with another male and it, it made things a little interesting on us uh, uh, trying to get the wind right and and put a nice stalk all the while being being mindful of the second line so it, it was a little 
a little interesting at times. A absolutely, Jeff. You know, hunting dangerous game is uh, is so much different than hunting plains game because you know um, what you're dealing with. Um, hunting a dangerous animal and and especially two males together, you have to think of that. You know that other lion and what he's going to do when uh, when you get close and. Um, you know, we were fortunate, things worked out well, it was a great morning of hunting and uh, we got you a beautiful lion. Oh, thank you much, Honest. Yeah, you're very welcome. Very proud of this Good lion. shooting and, uh, and great hunting, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice mature old male, you see some of his battle scars here. A nice, nice head on him, dark mane, excellent trophy. Five fish. You knocked him out. up. Man. Yeah, you man. piled up. He went nose down. Yeah. Okay, can go closer. Beautiful animal. I've ever killed with anyone by far. But it's another one of the success stories of South African conservation the round because they their numbers were you know almost not many years years. back they were very low and through good management and um, and private ownership their numbers, their numbers increased again to where they're healthy breeding population plus you know it's, it's one of the rare species of our country you know hunting in the Kalahari this is one of those special species that just doesn't 
the opportunity doesn't come along very often to be able to harvest a roan, much less a, a roan that's, that's pushing 30 inches. And, uh, it's on the decline. So it, it's the perfect management trophy, but not only that, it's, it's an incredible uh, genetic, incredibly large roan. Um, we, we did a nice spot and stalk and actually bumped into him and couldn't get a shot, but then he ran out and kind of, the, you can see the open plains and uh, about a 220 yard shot. And, uh, nice shot, he piled up right there. So, excellent hunt for a special species that South Africa has to offer. Thank you for uh, great shooting. It's been a great few days hunting uh, in this area and um, another beautiful trophy for your trophy room. Thanks.
a great opportunity I had on, on this mature and yala pool. He's measures close to, to 28 inches. It's not so much the size of the horns, but the important thing with him, he, he's definitely on the decline. You can see he's, he's going to go fast and probably wouldn't have made it uh, too much longer. So perfect game management practices. Uh, it's an excellent species, very nice hunt. Uh, one of those species I, I've been after for a while. <laughs>